Hello everyone, my name is Cass, and if you're new here, welcome in. And if you're not new here, if maybe you see that you're already subscribed to me and you have no idea when you did that, it's probably because I haven't posted a video in the last two years, but I am back. Today we are going to dive right into a brand new sketchbook. I got this on Amazon. It is the Ilio sketchbook ILLO. It is a mixed media sketchbook in the size of 8 by 8 inches, a perfect little square. And I'm really excited for the spreads I'm going to make with this. Um, bear with me today because I am going to do a watercolor test, just testing the colors, brightnesses, um, vibrancy, and also just how the paper holds up to watercolors. Um, I've had paper say it's good for watercolors and then buckle really bad, so I just wanted to test that today. So first I'm going to test my Windsor & Newton palette. I will try to tag the artist on the screen here that created those mushroom stickers, however I'm not too sure if they're still making them. And this palette did come with a small travel size watercolor brush along with 12 different colors. I got extremely lucky with this, so artists check your local thrift stores or local Goodwills. I found this at a Goodwill for only $5. I believe these retail for about $20. Again, $5 and every single color was completely sealed and obviously the travel brush is still there. You can see in the video the light is already unwrapped but that's because I unwrapped it a few years ago when I worked on another project. And yes, I did say years ago. I have felt too precious about this palette that I haven't wanted to use it at all and uh, use it up or maybe break it. I don't know. I just haven't felt the right piece come along that made me want to open them all up and use them. But I've had it for years now, so I decided maybe it is time to just bite the bullet and go for it and use them. And I do use them. I have another video that I've already recorded um, of some fan art I did a watercolor drawing of or painting of uh, that I will be uploading as well in the future. So if you want to see it, it is Legend of Zelda themed. I want to do a whole spread um, with Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild specifically. I um, absolutely love that game. I haven't yet played the Tears of the Kingdom yet. I have it. <laughs> I just have not set aside enough time to play it because um, I know it is going to suck me in fully. Um, it just looks beautiful from what I've seen already. So now is as good as time as any to do a little bit of an introduction for those that are new. Again, my last video was two years ago. I apologize for that. If you are new here and you made it through three minutes of me rambling, um, welcome, thank you. My name is Cass or Cassnell Designs. I am a digital artist mainly, but I do have my roots in traditional art. I did a ton of pen and ink drawings um, and watercolor paintings, both in high school and a little bit in college. I did go to college for graphic design and I did graduate with my bachelor's in the year of 2020. Woo! And we all know how that year ended. So in 2020, I picked up doing art on TikTok and it actually kind of blew up. I did a lot of illustration work and then eventually I saved up the money and got an iPad and started doing digital art, uh, which blew up and I had quite the bit of people following me on there. It was a ton of fun, um, you know, engaging with the community and just making videos and of course making art, but it wasn't entirely something I wanted to do as a career anymore. It was something I wanted to keep as like my fun time, my hobby time. Um, I have a nasty little habit of being a workaholic and I just shut myself in my room and my office. I was doing a lot of freelance work during COVID um, and of course uh, just doing my own work and illustrations. So I did not see the light of day very often. Yes, and I am aware that that is pretty normal for a lot of artists unless they have a crazy awesome work-life balance. And for those that have it, I am jealous of you please share that with me. Again, workaholic. 
So yeah, I just had to rediscover what I wanted to do. Um, obviously, still gonna do art. I absolutely love doing art. Um, it just had to be more of a free time hobby um, thing that brings me joy. Um, but I still had to figure out what I want to do that would bring me money, that could pay the bills. <laughs> um, again, all those artists that fully can do this free uh, freelance, do their art and fully pay the bills. Round of applause. How do you do it? I am so impressed with you. Also in the last four years since COVID, I realized how active I like to be. I got back into skateboarding and longboarding. I started hitting the gym and doing a lot of weightlifting. Um, my roommate got me to even start running, which I absolutely hate doing, but you know, it keeps me active, so I stick to it. Um, even got into a little bit of rock climbing when I have the chance indoor. Indoor, of course. I am not crazy enough or talented enough to do anything outside. So that little discovery about me loving to be active actually helped me figure out what I wanted to do career-wise. So I've spent the last two years working towards that. Um, I had to go back to school. Thankfully, nothing four-year bachelor degree or anything like that. Um, it was just a certificate program, but I couldn't do any art in that time. I was so exhausted from the amount of studying I was doing even before classes started. Um, and then afterwards I was just so stressed out trying to get all my paperwork together so I could start applying for jobs. And we're gonna have a brief interruption of my life story to introduce the next watercolor palette. I did block the name with the sticker, I believe it was like Koi Watercolors um, by Sakura Color Product Corporation, but I will tag the artist that created that sticker on the front. I don't believe they still sell it, but maybe they do. This watercolor palette I did buy full price at a store. I don't remember how much it was, but if I find it, I will put it on the screen as well. It does come with a travel brush that you can add water in, which is super handy on the go. And I did get quite a bit of use out of that brush. I absolutely loved it. So continuing on with my life story, I did make you wait, but now I will tell you. I did get a job as an emergency medical technician or an EMT. Uh, we are those people you find on the ambulance that isn't quite the paramedic. Um, I do eventually want to get my paramedic certificate um, as well as my firefighter certificate and go the full route. But for now, I am just an EMT, but I'm super excited to be on the ambulance and helping people in the future. And yes, this job will keep me extremely active. Um, and it will have me most likely on the night shift since I am brand new. However, being an artist has kind of set me up perfectly for that. I'm pretty used to staying up till 5am. Now I just gotta do that while also running ragged and driving all around town. But I am super excited to be doing this. Again, it's been the last two years in the making. Not all that time I've been in school, um, but that has been planning, getting all my certificates, everything set up, making sure the paperwork is in line, and of course studying and going to school. I'm super excited to be here and have that as my career. And literally the same week I got hired on, I also got super excited to get back into art again. So that is why I bought this sketchbook. Um, it's why I started diving into already creating art in it and planning what I want to do on different spreads. I need to remind myself not to be too precious with the paper and just sketch like crazy in it, get my ideas down. But I do want to make sure I make a point during my weekends, during my days off of work, that I take some time and just put some love into my sketchbook and work on it. And of course, not just uh, what I work in my sketchbook, but I also want to do more crocheting, which I picked up again this year, and embroidery. And if you want to see that, feel free to comment, you know, and I will record my processes and upload it for you guys to see. A little update on the watercolor test. This is how the colors turned out. Some of them on the right hand side were a little bit thinner and harder to get as vibrant. And then of course the back did buckle a little bit but nothing too extreme. I can totally still draw on this, paint on this, and feel comfortable with there being absolutely no bleed through. So the watercolor paper does hold up so far. 
And if you've made it this far into the video and you're either super intrigued in my future, in my career, or you're super excited to see what I create in the sketchbook, please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment, leave a like, it'll help me out a lot.